Welcome everybody to Empyreon Galactic Survival. I'm Know-It-All DM, and today I'm doing a showcase of one of the updates to one of my more popular creations, the Guppy. The Guppy is a small capital vessel that you can build as soon as you can build a capital vessel, which in the recent update of Alpha 7 is a little later than, uh, than before, but I still have it as resource light as possible while keeping it as functional as possible. Now the first thing those of you who saw the original Guppy will notice is that the warp drive is a completely different shape. The reason for this is Alpha 7 changed it. And so I added little uh, enclosure bits on the side just to add a little extra texture and to make a little bit more fish-like look with the uh, missing uh, uh, missing circular donut thing. Now, another thing you'll notice from the exterior is that the spotlight cubes have replaced the original headlights. So, uh, you know, it it's actually functions better and spotlights the ground ahead of you. Now we're gonna go on in, and I will. Uh, I'm gonna take off this, uh, or put my HUD back on. The first thing you'll notice is that there's a lever here which can pull up the ramp, so you can put the ramp down and pull it up. Um, I have not updated this since Alpha 5, so there's some Alpha 6 updates as well, including the spotlight cubes, as you noticed. So coming in on the starboard side, you'll have the armor locker. There's a large O2 tank which wraps all the way or comes all the way around over to here. Um, back here, you've got your fuel tank, your warp drive tank, and your uh, large generator. So I put all those down here so the temperature and radiation stuff doesn't bother you. Um, you can also access all of your cargo boxes from right here. Now, you may be thinking, well, they're upside down. Well, that is done on purpose. Because you can actually access them from here. And since these cargo boxes are airtight, the ventilator still does its job and keeps the interior oxygenated even in space or on harsh planets. So we're going to come into here and uh, head up to the second level where the cockpit is, you'll notice that instead of being one large open room, I've made it a multi-tier vessel, um, use it utilizing the same space. So on the second level here, you've got your, uh, your cockpit, you've got the oxygen station, refrigerator, and medical station. And then if you go up to the third level, above the refrigerator is the food processor, you can still access the O2 station and the medical station. You've got a closet, a bed, a uh, shower, and a toilet so that you can get rid of any nasty effects and recover some stamina. You also can turn off the light so that when you're trying to sleep, you know, you don't have the light going. Um, but yeah, you, you get a little weird effect if you, you know, go right on the edge of the uh, elevator there. But other than that, it's, you know, not, not a terrible setup. Um, I wish you could, like, open this door and actually go into that shower. That would be awesome. Anyway, uh, you can see the ventilator back behind here on the wall back there, um, which has the, uh, these things against it. So you pretty much have everything that you could need all at your fingertips easily accessible now the only thing this place doesn't have is a uh, apart from a gravity generator of course is the repair station and that's because the repair station use a, uses a restroom and zascosium which I didn't want to use um, because I wanted this to be a cheaper capital vessel that you could use now we're going to go ahead and get into the cockpit here and just take a quick look around and you'll see all the nuances of the guppy in its total glory. I love the design. I've always liked the little ship. 
So I also did some updates in the control panel. You can turn the headlights on and off with just a click of a button. You can turn your flight systems on right here. So now I'm going to take the guppy up into space into orbit around Akua and show you the cruise feature that I've added, which I have started adding to a lot of my small vessels and capital vessels. The cruise feature, all it really does, uh, at least for the guppy, is deactivate all of the thrusters except for the rear thruster. But this allows you to maintain stable flight without having to hold down the W key. So, okay, here we are in space. Let's get away from the clouds. All right, let's, let's head towards the moon um, because, you know, who doesn't want to go to the moon? Um, and get out of the atmosphere. All right, so now if you open this and just click cruise and hold down W and then when you let it go, it'll go a little bit slower, but as you'll see, it's not slowing down and it's just maintaining stable flight in the direction you put it. Now, if you turn, you'll also notice that it tries to uh, reverse, you know, because you're turning. But if you don't turn and you maintain a stable, straightforward movement, you can just take your hand off the key and maintain flight at almost maximum speed. And that way you can, you know, set your course, push the button, and go get something to eat, come back. Well, not in the game, I mean in real life. And your ship will still be flying. Um, unfortunately, if you try to leave the cockpit, it won't let you. Um, it gives you the, please stop the, yeah. But, and you can just turn off cruise and activate all your thrusters. So... And then this will just turn everything off. And now, you know, if you've got a jetpack, you can just go around here. You'll notice that there is oxygen and the oxygen does encompass the entirety of the interior of your little ship here. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this look at the update of the guppy. If you did hit the like button and subscribe to it on the uh, workshop and if you want to see more of the uh, showcases that I do like this go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel right here as always I'm know-it-all DM and y'all have a good day now